Hello and welcome to this probably old man yells at cloud edition of quick tips but really it's about keyboard shortcuts to make uh, programming quicker. So I started using Cubase in the early 90s on the Atari and obviously some of this will just be muscle memory but there's one thing that I really think got lost with the transition to Cubase SX which has eventually become the Cubase we have today and that is something to do with keyboard shortcuts which allows you to change your quantize stroke snap division really, really quickly. So on screen, you can see the Atari version of Cubase. Uh, and you'll probably, if you haven't seen this before, you'll probably realize there's a lot of stuff there that you could probably do, use, etc. It's all pretty familiar. But one of the great things about this is the quantize menu. So if we take a look at the quantize menu, it's much nicer than the one we have today because it's much more compact. So if we click on the quantize menu, you can see that you get all the quantize divisions down the middle. And on the left-hand side, you have triplet versions of those with a T, and on the right, you've got dotted versions. You don't need all the text, and it's much easier to navigate with them like that. But that's by the by. The great thing about the Atari is, by default, it had keyboard shortcuts assigned to quantized division. So one would take you to one one, two would take you to halves, three would take you to quarters, and so on. It's really quick and easy to select those. And if you wanted eighths, you just hit four. And there you are. And if you want to select triplets, you just hit T to turn that on and off. And the same for dot would be the full stop key. Really quick and easy. So here we are in Cubase 12, and let's take a look at progress compared to the Atari. So first things first, quantize menu. I don't think this is great. I think it'd be much nicer if it was like the one we've just seen on the Atari with just half T and half dot, etc., and with them arranged in a grid. Much easier to navigate, but Aside from that, keyboard shortcuts, which really is what this uh, old man yells at cloud bit is about. There are actually keyboard shortcuts assigned, which is a bit strange. So let's just open up uh, a MIDI editor. And then if we go to look at key commands here, if you type in key here and do Alt, Alt, uh, Option, 1, we can see it's set insert length. So we actually have the parallel of these Atari things set up here. So one is one, one, two is two, three is quarters, and so on. And even with dotted and comma for triplet, not, not T for triplet, but there we go. So they are actually there, but they are not for this. They're not for quantized, they're for length, which may or may not appear. So certainly in later versions of Cubase, I think the default preferences don't even show them. But if they aren't being shown, if you go to the cog here, and make sure you turn on length quantize. You will see it there. Now, I always leave this set in length, uh, quantize link, because that just makes sense to me. I don't really want to set them independent. It, very occasionally I do, but most of the time I'll just do it in a different way. I will use fixed lengths, etc. So I can think of maybe two times I've actually used this, but that's what's being changed here. So Alt 1 or Option 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. We'll change that there. So uh, that doesn't make much sense to me. So I put it back on quantize link. And what we're going to do is we're going to just remove those keyboard shortcuts and then put them onto this here. And then you can pretend you're in 1993 again. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, back to key commands. So first thing first is removing these, which is slightly long-winded because you select it here, press the bin, and then hit remove and then repeat that for all the others. So I'm just going to speed this up to save your time. So that's all of those gone. And now what we want to do is put them in the place which, well, I think they should be, which is under quantize category. So set quantize to want um, English. Yeah. Anyway, so set that to option one or alt one and then assign, and then same again for all these others. So this, this gets slightly less friendly, but we'll speed this up as well. But you get the idea. Now I'm going to set this to option T because it makes more sense to me the the sort of default was option comma now you can set it to what you want obviously uh, i'm not your dad you can do what you want but there we go that's set to that and now 
we have the much more sensible thing that I can now select those directly in here and note that it's selecting it here and in the project window as well. So I'm going to get some sort of extra mileage from that. It makes it much easier. It's much quicker. Uh, it's much more apparent. And once you get your head into it while you're changing those, it's, it's much quicker and say, particularly if you're working on a large screen, I work on a 4k screen a hundred percent. So that can be a lot of mouse mileage saved. I know this hasn't been a quick tip been a long tip but I, I don't want to start a new video series anyway i hope you found this useful uh and thanks for listening to me rant and i'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition